keep setting it up and wording it so if anything come out in the future, you go look dumb. You took a whole restraining order out on this lady and you telling her you love her? What? Where you at, Hurls? Come on, Hurls. Come on, Hurls. Not out of made you end your life. Not out of made you end your life so you can run to Lady B. Come on, Hurls. I got a few minutes, bitch. Come on. Let me see what these new... Um, Hey, Lickety Split. This is my lips. They like my lips. Um, Hurls went to go tell Lady B on me, y'all. I'm waiting to see uh, if one of them go back live. I made Hurls in her live. She mad because Everybody know that she's a scammer and that she was stealing a dollar and 90 cents from the other ladies as many times as she could. That's not even a 20 ounce bottle of soda, child. A dollar and 90 cents. That's what you was over there scamming every day. You cheap, broke thief, bitch. With your plasma donating ass, girl. I don't have a standing appointment at the plasma center. You broke bitch. Girl. Why you ain't go tell Lady B that your son has, hasn't had a Christmas in three years? Why you ain't go tell Lady B that? You try to play on people's emotions. I know people like you. That's why you stayed far away from me. That's why you made sure to stay clear of me because you knew that I would have put two and two together and I would have asked you some tough questions that you didn't want to answer because you were stealing. That's why you told Duffel that I didn't like her and you probably told other people that as well. You were trying to keep everybody separate so that nobody would come together and have a meeting. That's why your meetings never worked out. That's why you never invited me to the meetings. Hurls. Sounds like scammer activity to me. Sounds like somebody trying to hide something to me. That's what that sounds like, Hurls. But where you at, Hurls? I ain't got but a few minutes, bitch. You ain't worth that. But I don't care about all that tough shit you talk. Because you ain't going to do a fuck thing either, bitch. Okay? If you can't afford test strips, we know you can't afford to put gas in your car. I'm not worried about you doing anything to me, Hurls. Where are you at, Hurls? You over there running the Lady B, girl. Go ahead and show your... get. Go ahead and get Lady B show your messages, honey. Mm -hmm. Because it'll sure be hard for you to explain. Hey, Roadrunner, it'll sure be hard for you to explain why you telling Vigo Chef to send you a whole dragon in Duffel's name and Duffel didn't know anything about it. Pearls, you had a whole investment group, but you were sending people private messages asking for beans. What sense did that make? You had a whole group chat. Hey, Roadrunner. You had a whole group chat where you could post, where you could post things like that, people's PKs and, and you know, conduct business. But you were messaging people in their personal inbox because you didn't want the other people to see what you were writing. And that's because you were scamming. You were scamming. You were messaging me. Asking me if I had 3K for Tammy's PK. And then you were over there telling Tammy that I was supposed to come. And I didn't know nothing about it. I knew nothing about that exchange, Hurls. And the common denominator is you. 
you are the one that owed those people when you sent those types of messages you are the one that owed those people and you did not have the beans you did not have the beans so by you asking me now i didn't do it because i was asleep but by you asking me to go over there and drop 3k on tammy her pk is covered so then that buys you a little bit more time to get up the money that you owe her, Hurls. We know the game you was running. We know the scam you was running. Because there's no reason when Tammy has my number and Tammy knows how to contact me. And if Tammy and I are doing business, we communicate. That's none of your business. That don't have anything to do with you. I don't have to come to you to tell you that I'm doing business with Tammy and neither does Tammy. Tammy does not have to come to you and tell you that she's doing business with me. That's none of your fucking business. That's none of your business. You have absolutely nothing to do with how I spend, with, with how me and Tammy spend our beans. But because you needed them, because you needed them in your wallet, because you are broke and your wallet stay on broke, and poor B Love over there. She better watch out. She better be leery. She better be leery and she better be keeping a good record. Hey, Kiki. Hey, Noni's lymphedema. Um, she better be keeping a good record, honey, because uh, she been over there dropping on you on your PKs. I hope she keeps good records because when it comes time for her PK, you gonna be sleep. You gonna be MIA. Honey, or somebody gonna get shot, or something gonna happen, but you gonna miss that PK, bitch. For that PK, and that is one of the reasons why Chef stopped dropping on you, because she had been dropping on you, and every time she had a PK, you were missing. You didn't show up. Tammy even messaged you and asked you. Please don't do any no-shows with the girls. Now, mind you, I wasn't in that meeting, so I don't. I, I wasn't in that meeting, so I wasn't privy to all of that information at the time because you never invited me, Hurls. You never invited me. I got a PK at five and I got a PK at seven, but we. I want to get to a box. I need to get to a box. I need to get to a box. But my PK at five and seven are covered. We 5k away from my box. Thank you, Noni Sniffedema. Hurls, where you at for the day, honey? Where you at for the day, Hurls? Hurls, where you at for the day? Where your gifters, Hurls? Come on with these receipts, Hurls. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Brittany. Come on with these receipts, Hurls. I guess you didn't think that I would catch you with my picture up, Hurls. Why you had my picture up when you look the way you look, I have no idea. Girl, we are on two totally different playing fields. Okay, bitch. Maybe you want to talk shit today because you got your teeth in your mouth, but you need to put some hair glue or something up there to hold them motherfuckers in because you look like a chatterbox over there, bitch. Them motherfuckers is chittering and chattering as you over there hollering and screaming at me. Girl, fix the motherfuckers, secure them motherfuckers in your mouth before they fall out, bitch. Okay? With your broke ass. Where you at, Hurls? Because I'm sure the people, some people um, would be interested to know why you are asking other people to drop on people's PKs that you owe them for. But you want to try to convince people that you're not scamming. Thank you, Charia. You want to convince people that you're not scamming. Why would one do that? Why would one do that? when Tammy and I have each other's number. So please explain to me why I would need, why Tammy would need you to reach out to me for 3K beans to throw on her PK. 
and she didn't know anything about it. She didn't tell you to message me. And then you run over there and tell her that um, I was supposed to come. So you owe her, but you're going to, you're, you're, you're setting the expectation with her that I'm not showing up for PKs. But you be hollering that don't nobody that that no one shows up for your PKs. Well, that's because you never asked anyone. You never said, "Hey, I need such and such. Uh, I can bring it back on such and such date." You never did that. You didn't do that. You didn't want to do that because you, your hopes were that you could get out of paying it back because you're a thief. You cash out every month and you have a standing appointment with the Plaza Center. Okay, bitch. Hey, I'm already here. And can you even be a hold on? Let me look, let me check something. Hold on a second. Hurls. Hurls went to go uh, tell Lady B on me, y'all. Hurls went to go tell Lady B on me. The same one that she took a restraining order out on. Yeah, the one she be over there sitting with now. Yeah, she took out a restraining order on her. And now she's running to tell her on me. She's, she's running to tell on me. Let me see. Hi, beautiful. Hey, I'm already here. <clears throat> oh. I had to check something. Where you at, Hurls? You not blocked. I know you probably have me blocked. Like you blocked a lot of other people. Like you blocked a lot of innocent gifters who didn't have anything to do with what was going on, didn't even know what was going on, but yet you blocked them. Why did you block them, Hurls? Are you another pick-me-ass bitch? Are you upset that you weren't picked for some reason? Because why would you be blocking gifters? You're over there complaining about somebody stealing your support, but yet you're blocking gifters who don't have anything to do with you being a scammer and a liar. Thank you, Duffel. Hey, Pressure, they don't have anything to do with you being a scammer or a liar. Duffel, I mean, I'm sorry, damn, Hurls. Child, now she went to go tell Lady B on me. I'm I'm done. I'm floored. I'm floored with that one, honey. And Gangsta Boo, don't you say nothing, bitch, until you go address Dope Girl and Crazy B. Thank you, Charya. Because Dope Girl slaughtered your ass today and Lady set. And Crazy B sat right there and watched it. She even laughed in the end. She even laughed with Dope Girl in the end. She didn't defend you not one bit. Look at you. Look at you over there starving for attention. And she didn't defend you not even in the least bit. She let Dope Girl drag you. And wish she should have dragged you. Because you should keep your ass out of black out of black women's business. Because you're a shit starter. You're a shit starter. And Dope Girl told you right. Every time there's something going on with some black women, here you go inserting yourself in something that don't have nothing to do with you. You stayed in Crazy B box 
talking about what was going on with the black ladies. And then the moment they start dogging your ass out, you start running to everybody for cover, bitch. Hey, Treasure. Hey, I'm taking boo. Hey, Jono. Uh, if you're just coming in, hey, Treasure. Uh, her to tell Lady B on me, y'all. She, she's, she over there mad. I guess she mad. I, I caught her with my picture up. Maybe she was trying to take it down real quick, but she going to uh, send some messages to Crazy B. Um, but we can slide through the whole thread, honey, because we got questions. The people got questions. You know, the people got questions, honey. Why would you tell Chef to drop you a dragon in Duffel's name? Why would you lead Chef to believe? Why would you leave Chef to believe that Duffel told Chef to give you a dragon? Duffel says she does not recall that. She does not recall uh, saying she's going to give you a dragon. You was getting real desperate. You could tell us the messages went on. You was starting out low and you was getting high. You was getting real desperate for them beans in the end. Just like when you flew, just like the first month I was hosting, because you stay at my window. You stayed at my window because you never have shit in your wallet. You stayed. I think I was doing a PK one day, and I was down to 100 beans. It was a slow day, and you were sitting in there. You didn't even have 100 beans, bitch. You didn't even, of course I got it, but you didn't even have 100 beans. You didn't have a hundred beans in your wallet, Hurls. And you want people to believe that you weren't scamming. You were definitely scamming. It's all in the messages how you was harassing Vigo Chef for beans. You was harassing her. Come now. Hurry up. Do it right now. I got three minutes. Come now. Do it now. That's a red flag. Night. Hey Tiffany D. Oh, let me turn my little thing off. Let's turn that little thing off. Because I ain't over there right now. Uh, well, if they come back, I'll come back. You know, I have other things to do. I'm gonna put on my tennis shoes. Um, I don't own a pair of river dancing boots. Um, yeah, if they come back, I'll come back and we can show some messages, honey, because the, the message is just, it, it ain't adding up for someone who's being honest and someone who's being truthful when you all, you doing everything behind the scenes, you ain't putting nothing in the group, in your group, you doing everything behind the scenes so that other people won't know about it. Hey, shorty, no drama. So. <clears throat> and crazy, and I already told you, honey, that she's too much of a big broadcaster to be dealing with this. Do it on your own, live girls. You can't. You want to send messages to Lady B because you can't face your own actions. You can't even look at those messages, girl. It's got scammer written all over it. So you want to send messages to Lady B so you don't have to face the music. Well, we need those questions answered. Why was she saying the other day that she was having another BBL? Did no, she didn't have no BBL. She had liposuction or something. Whatever she was, it was a, a minor non-invasive surgery because she 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 was up that same day, up all night long, outside, all on her knees. Uh, she was up the entire night on live. But it don't matter, you know, if she had, she probably so, she done already had two tummy tucks that I'm aware of. She done already had two tummy tucks. 
But she ain't have no BBL. Did you see the shape of that ass? Crack longer than the Nile River. Did you, ain't no doctor, ain't no doctor shaping no butt like that. And ain't nobody paying for no BBL and leaving with no shape like that. Look like two loaves of bread with a long ass crack in the middle. Ain't no way she had no BBL. She did something with that damn stomach. Oh, my hand itching. Oh, my hand itching. But of course, she's only saying something about another BBL uh, because Tommy had her surgery and she's mad. Uh, that Tommy could afford her surgery, honey. Uh, and she could afford uh, whatever she needed to get done. And this lady, this winch, had, she had to go with the bare minimum. She had to get the basic service. Hey, Munchie. She had to get the basic service because she, she don't have no money. Hey, no, no. So she had to get the basic service, honey. It probably didn't even come with bandages. And she had a whole BBL wish list. Did you see her BBL wish list? Where she was wishing, wishing somebody bought her a faha, wishing somebody bought her some lipstick. And she even had a 24 count of Excedrin on there. 24 count. That's like the small bottle. Hey, Suki. Hey, Ali Boo. Hey, Blue Marie. But, um, I don't see neither one of them hoes. So, I'm going to go to the store and make my little, uh, do my little grocery shopping. Hey, China. I'll be back, honey. Trust me, I ain't going nowhere. I'll be back. But hurls, you could never. You could never, ever, 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 ever. So. Okay, see you later, Duffel. You just got here. Ain't that you ain't missed nothing much, Blue Marie. I, I I'll go over it again. We go uh wait and see. Uh, Hurls uh, went to go tell Crazy B on me. Uh, she's supposed to be sending Crazy B some messages because I asked her, why did she ask me to go and drop 3K on Tammy's PK? And Tammy didn't know anything about that. And I didn't owe Tammy at the time. But that was done because Hurls owed Tammy. And that was part of her scam. Pearls owed Tammy, but if she could get one of the other ladies to drop it, then boom, Tammy's PK is covered, and that buys her more time to steal beans. Okay. Hey, Mel. Yeah, so, you know, I'll go over that later, and we may have to show some messages. But there's a reason why Hurls distanced herself from me. And it wasn't because she didn't like me because I have tons of messages of how she just thinks, you know, I'm the greatest person in the world. Like, like she idolizes me, you know. I have plenty of those messages. But she distanced herself because she knew that I would figure out what the hell she was doing, honey. She didn't want... The ladies sitting around talking about beans. That's why she would call the ladies over to her panel early in the morning and do her dirt, getting them to overthrow uh, on PKs. Oh, you know, Sergeant Snacks, baby. Hey, beautiful. Sergeant Snacks, honey. Baby, it is so fitting. It is so fitting. But, yeah, she was stealing a dollar and ninety cents from those ladies. 
and she's mad. She's mad now that we know about it because once everybody sat down and was able to have a conversation uh, after she ran out of the meeting, like a two year old with a temper tantrum, and I didn't even get to discuss uh, my reason for asking for the meeting because the other ladies didn't even know why we were there. She immediately started deflecting. When she realized what it was about, she immediately started deflecting. And she even tried to use duffel as a weapon, but that didn't work. Hey, it's a goddess. And that that didn't even work. Hey, pretty girl rock. So, but I'll wait for you to come back, girls. Mm-hmm. I'll be here, honey. We got these receipts of not only you scamming the ladies, but you were scamming the supporters. The people who were there who dug into their pockets, not expecting anything back, you even scammed them as well. And I've got that receipt too, Hurls. I got that receipt too. Okay, so I'll be back, y'all. I got a few things to do. Thank y'all. I'll see y'all soon.